Hi everyone, JC here. So you can see it's snowing outside, which is very nice. And of course, the other thing is I've done a little bit of work on the hut. Um, still developing, um, but I figured I'd like some big windows so we can see the, the view of all the snowy plains outside. Um, I'll probably end up doing this wall as well, but I quite like that painting at the moment. So I've just left that there. And outside we've got some more wheat growing. I've put up some torches. Um, I'll grab some more wood in a while and finish off the fence along here I think and put a gate because it's just occurred to me that that would make this mob proof pretty much and it's all lit up around here so there shouldn't be any shouldn't be any spawning. It's a music right on cue. So um, that's pretty much everything I've done off camera I think. Um, I made a ton of glass for all of that business um, and cooked some meat and stuff. So I was thinking what we could do first is make a little mushroom farm which I'll do underground. Um, I think if I do it along this wall, I know there's a solid wall to the left here. Oh yeah, the carpet here you can see. Um, I went and collected a bunch of wool from the sheep down on ground level. Um, and there's lots of white and black sheep and also dark grey sheep. So I've got the rest of it stored in here for later. Um, but I figured that to add so much white and black can make a nice checked floor. Um, so we only actually need to go two down really, don't we? So let's so put some of those back for the moment. I think that's I think that's enough, isn't it? And then yeah, then we're two down here. Um, let's get a spade. That'll be a bit quicker, won't it? Um, uh, there's one more, isn't there? And then let's see how many. We don't want to dig right to the edge, so we got five in. We can do five in. Two that way, because that's the edge. And uh, one, two, three. Four and five. So that's how far we can go this way. Um, we'll put a torch down for the moment. We're going to do a mushroom farm, so I'm going to have to get the lighting just right in a bit. Um, I don't think this will be enough though. I think I've got some information up to the side of the screen. So this is torches are light level 14, and mushrooms need light level 12 or less so that 14 I'll put it on the floor when we do it so that's 14 13 12 so mushrooms will be able to survive in those three if we do it this way and that'll be all right actually three and um basically mobs spawn at like light, light level seven or less so basically the idea with this is um, we want to make sure that there's lots of dim areas not directly next to the torches for the mushrooms to spread out into but that none of the squares become light level 7 or less because then there'll be a chance of monsters spawning actually in our mushroom farm which of course is in our base so it's not that would not be good news. Um, so actually digging this way we might have quite a lot of space because if we want we could dig out under the garden outside which is on the same level as the carpet. Um, so one, two, three, maybe four, but if we did it this way we could keep on expanding. So actually, I think that'd be quite good, actually, if we do it. Mind you, however, um, thinking about this, we don't want it to get to light level seven. So what we got, 14, this way we've got 14, 13, 
12, 11, 10, 9. So that'll be fine as well, won't it? So maybe we can just put torches along here. So, um, I mean, worst case scenario is 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. If they can grow in that corner. So maybe um, to simplify it so we don't have to keep track, we can put just put a quick cobble wall there um, so that we can keep on expanding this way and count it. So, um, so 12 or less is this line onwards, so that's all fine. Um, so let's get our mushrooms and stick them in, see what happens. So we have, just to double check, so that's 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, light level 9. Okay, and then it's even more effective if you di if I dug out that way and also put, tor put torches the other end, but uh, we won't worry too much about that for the moment. This is just our starting base. This is just early days. So another design note with this, obviously, like I said before, the way I work with bases is I tend to just slowly evolve them over time. So I haven't actually even gone out to look, but I'm guessing that this carpet is going to look awful from the outside. And I know for a fact that the um, big square of mud that I've evened out here looks really bad. So I think as well as expanding upwards possibly, I'm also going to be expanding downwards and replacing that mud with stone walls and stuff, maybe smooth stone to make it look like the natural cliff again and just having windows within that smooth stone and stuff like um, the base had built, been built into the cliff, which it kind of has been. Ah, skeleton spawned under the tree. That's not good, is it? Um, even with the torches. Now, did it spawn out here? Amongst these torches, or did it spawn nearby and make its way up here? I don't know. I don't even know if it's night time now. I think it might be daytime. But with the snow, it's, um, it's darker, so it helps mobs spawn. Okay, so we're getting a little bit peckish. We have some more meat. So, yeah, slowly collecting up more, um, more wheat there, and that's actually a good timing for that skeleton to turn up, as we can use some bone meal. We'll use it on the least, ones that have grown the least. So that we don't waste any progress on the ones that have grown naturally. Um, oh, and we've got one more. Which one shall we do? This one? Oh, let's put let's put in a new one. Yeah, actually, if I planted that seed and only used it, only used bone meal on completely new seeds, that would have been even more efficient. So I'll remember that in future. Um, that needs hoeing again. There we go. So that's all looking good. Um, so I think for safety reasons, I'll have to get rid of this tree for the moment, just in case that is what allowed the skeleton to spawn. We can have plenty of trees outside the bases area. It's not essential we have them in the base. Um, let's hoe a little bit more ground and put that last seed down. Um, yeah, that's not going to stay <laughs> unless we plant something then it seems. Um, okay, so we've got some more wood now. We could finish off that fence quickly as well. That would be something to do. I doubt the mushrooms will have grown yet, but um, just to check they haven't popped out. They are still planted, so that's all good. Um, right, make sure there's nothing in the furnace. 
that we've forgotten about. Uh, what have we got? So the other option with the glass is um, I just quickly show you. Because I've got glass blocks here because I like the way it looks as a real window. Um, that's part of the problem with the carpet touching the outside and it is not going to look good. So I need to line it with something but I don't like the look that it gives of having a really big ledge. So the obvious alternative is to make glass panes. So I'm probably going to try that. Um, I've got quite a bit of glass. I don't think I'll have enough glass for the whole thing. But I'm thinking maybe stone slabs and then they'll have glass panes. But it'll be like in the middle of a slab. So it won't seem like there's a huge block past the window. Like it would do if we put stone slabs under the glass blocks. So um, hopefully you understand what I mean by that. And that's clear <laughs> what I'm thinking. Otherwise, don't worry too much. I'll just demonstrate it when I actually do it. Um, right, we need to actually make those fences before we step outside. And I have to reorder those a little bit in a second. Um, oh, I know. Actually, we need. I think we need one more block of wood, don't we, to make a fence, to make a blur, to make a gate. Um, We'll put these down for the moment though and just leave a gap. So it's ready to go. I think I might put the gate over to one side for the moment because it seems like it would be nicer to put it in the middle. But once you actually start going down the mountain, this bit here is actually a deadly drop. So I have to remember to kind of go off to the right and at some point I'll build a path so we can just follow the path or I'll sort sort out the landscaping or something so that it's straightforward to go down. The other thing I should do, oh snow stopped, the other thing I should do is um, line the roof somehow although I may make a second floor and then have a glass ceiling on the second floor instead. Um, just to give the base more space. Um, I'm not sure if I want to expand out sideways too much. I quite like the idea of having a tower um, that goes up and kind of down into the mountain. So what else can we do? Is there anything else we can do quickly? I don't think there's anything we can do quickly. Um, so I guess I will leave it there for the day. Just figured I'd fill you in, give you a look at what I've done so far. Um, leave you some space to comment what you think I should do next or which way you think I should expand or if you've got any suggestions regarding that. Um, if you've got any suggestions regarding anything else of what you'd like to see. Um, etc, etc. And I will see you tomorrow.